been away, but now I'm back. Hey there, Movie Maniacs. Welcome back to another edition of Movie Mistakes. And today, we're going to be looking at Power Season 3, Episode 1. But for this episode, we're going to do things just a little bit different than what you're used to. I'm listening. So normally we would point out continuation errors, things that move, stuff like that. But for this episode, what we're going to try to do now is point out things that they've done in the show that I probably would have done differently in my personal life. Sounds good to us. So without further delay, let's jump into some power. Episode 1, Season 3. So if you have watched this TV show before, you'll know that this is Davis McLean. He is the lawyer of all the, um, let's say, unsavory people in the show. Hey, I'm a crooked lawyer. So I'm not quite sure exactly how he got a hold of this ring that he's passing over to this woman, but he has given it to her to sell for him at an auction. So the woman does just that. She gives it to an auction house for them to auction it off, and it happens just as they planned. So we can see here that the gentleman has just bought the ring, but looking at him from a distance is Noma. Noma appears to be the main antagonist for this season. So the gentleman offers the ring to his fiance as a wedding ring when Noma shows up with her henchman. Check it out. Hell of an engagement ring. Unfortunately, that ring belongs to me. Right here for me is where the guy makes the mistake. So. When Noma shows up with her henchmen and she says, hey, that ring belongs to me. The thing that would stand out to me is there are a couple guys, everybody's wearing black and they look very menacing. I know one of the guys wearing a tie, but it doesn't look safe to me. This place looks dangerous. At this point, I'm thinking we're going to get robbed. We need to give the ring up. And I'm fairly certain a lot of other fans who watch the show was probably thinking the same thing. Just give the ring up, live to fight another day. Also, I wonder if he had insured the ring. If he paid that much money for the ring, I would have had it insured personally. Gentlemen's bid, paddle 208 at $5,500,000 and sold. So do you see what I'm saying? The guy paid $5.5 million for that ring. A lot of money. There's no way in the world I would have given it to her on the same night. I would have had it insured, personally speaking. That way, if I got robbed or I lost it, then I wouldn't be out all that money. But he takes a different approach, which doesn't end up well. Take a listen. I'm trying to enjoy our night. Get the fuck out of here. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you think that was a smart choice of words for him to use in the circumstance that he was in? Hell no. Take a listen again. Get the fuck out of here. So you've got three people you've never seen before in your life. They're all wearing black. You're in a dark, secluded place. No one else is around. But you feel like you have the right or the power to tell these people. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, just how stupid could you be? That's pretty stupid! Why must these pale Americans be so crass? So after he says the line about the fact that he's so crass, this gives him an opportunity to change his mind and give the ring up. But he decides to double down. Take a listen. Did you not hear what I said? Leave us the fuck alone. And right at this point, I believe there was no coming back. You've gone too far. He had already insulted them twice. He didn't back down. He didn't stand down. And they have a ring in their possession worth $5.5 worth $5 million. All right, that's it. I'm calling the cops. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think it's interesting that he felt comfortable and safe saying the things he wanted to say to them until it started to get physical. Then at that juncture, he feels like he wants to call the cops. Well, let me ask you a question. How long do you think it would take for the cops to arrive? That's a very good question. Well, it really didn't matter at this juncture because Noma has got out her blade. She's already chopped the woman's hand off and she takes the ring, throws the hand to the ground. I'm fairly certain at this point he is regretting his choice of words and uh, by proxy she is too. Trust us. You would enjoy your evening much better if you simply hand the lady a ring. So my question is, what would you have done in this situation? What would you do? Would you have given the ring up without a struggle? Would you have tried to run? What would your response have been? Let us know in the comment section below. 